and see in the place to be and see hi all and welcome back to my channel that's me again your great nsc in the place to be yeah i wish you a great weekend <laughs> i have not just talked my time to explain you a very important thing on the playstation 3 cooling on the PlayStation 3 Fat Editions, because on the Slim Editions this is just another cooling system. But on the Fat Editions, um, I'm gonna now just explain you a very important thing, okay? We are here on the left side on a G model, that means CECHG. And this one here is uh, like the CECH A, B and C models, okay? Also some uh, DECH, okay? Um, I just want to talk about this pipelines, as we call it, heat pipes. Um, you need to know that, guys, really. Um, the thing is like that. These heat pipes here, they transfer the heat through the cooler or to the heat sink on the back. You know? So um, the um, yeah, ventilator, the fan, is cooling uh, the heat sink inside, but uh, it's also cooling the heat pipes. The thing is like that. The heat pipes they have some kind of liquid inside. I don't know, I don't know how it calls in English, but some some stuff like a gas, a special gas. Uh, this is just a, um, yeah um, a cool liquid inside. I don't know how to explain that. And um, this stuff with the time, um, if this PlayStation was running really a lot of time hot and really a long years or a lot years, <laughs> then the the liquid inside gonna just disappear with the time so this heat pipes they are just some cooper pipes and not some heat pipes okay because the the liquid inside is very important i'm gonna um yeah i'm gonna put you on the youtube description under there i'm gonna put you a great uh, video from um some be quiet coolers be quiet is a very great manufacturer that does really great coolers also for the computers i'm also a computer freak and that's why i know so much stuff and uh, be quiet in my eyes they make one of the best um yeah cpu coolers um and also of course some great uh, power supplies yeah together with seasonic but today i just want not to talk uh, <laughs> about seasonic or be quiet okay i just want to talk with you about this cooling problem that you guys have on the older models just like here on the ce ch a b and c versions okay so mostly the CPU is our problem also and you guys know already that on the top of the motherboard uh, the power supply sits directly over the CPU. This is the second problem. Okay, so this all gets hot to the time <laughs> and when your heat spreaders was not open before your CPU is just dying because it's overheating and all the stuff. Your, um, yeah, how it calls, your power supply that sits over here is also running very hot with the time and uh, this and more is the reason why the CPU side one day gets really hot with the time. And that's why I just recommend you guys to uh, remove the heat spreaders so fast as you can. So if you love your PlayStation, you go there and you just remove the heat spreaders and you just apply a uh, newer thermal paste. Because if you do not apply a newer thermal paste, you're gonna have here a heat between the core and the heat spreader. But the heat will not be able to pass uh, through the heat pipes, <laughs> through the cooling system, through the heat sink, and then you're gonna have here a big problem because this here gonna really overheat. And sometimes you can also feel on, on the back uh, when you just uh, yeah have to turn your PlayStation on, uh, you, you may be gonna hear that the fan is spinning really very loud, but it's not really that that uh, that hot air. Okay, so uh, sometimes you, if you just feel it with your hand, you can notice. Okay, yeah, it's a little bit warm, but it's not that hot. And this is a sign that the heat is just staying here inside, inside the heat spreader <laughs> and the um, the CPU itself. Okay, so um, that's why the air on the back is not that hot, uh, not that hot as it should be, because here the heat cannot be transferred to uh, the yeah heat spreader, and then the heat, of course, gets transferred to this small part, which is which is also a cooling system, and then of course to the um, heat pipes or pipelines. So, um, now let's just talk here about the G version. Um, you can see that this model is a little bit newer and that's why it just, just yeah, it just has 
one heat pipe but this one here is um, a little bit bigger as you can see okay I'm, I'm gonna just zoom it a little bit in so this is a newer PlayStation here right now because this is a CE CHG model the uh, CPUs are running a little bit cooler um, and um, that's why you got here just one big uh, heat pipe okay on the um, right side you can see the heat pipes you got here more but they are a little bit thinner and smaller okay so here again shows that you can <laughs> okay yeah it's bigger okay you can see that and as the same thing goes for the GPU um, this one here looks like um, the same size uh, as this pipe or yeah this heat pipes okay so this is a very important thing guys and that's why I just want to tell you if you have a PlayStation that is really running hot on the CPU side then um, I'm pretty sure that the, the, the first problem of course could be your power supply and the second problem is because your PlayStation was running so long hot the um, liquid here inside the cooling liquid because these heat pipes they have a special liquid guys and that's why this pipelines or this heat pipes here are just closed okay I'm gonna like I told uh, post you a video in English uh, on my uh, video description uh, from a manufacturer like Be Quiet they show how they made um, the CPU coolers and they really show all and um, that's why you need to show this video uh, on my video description under there you're gonna find it and then you're gonna understand more because my English maybe is not so good but um, heat pipes they have a very important job and if this job is just fail then you're gonna have some uh, overheating problems too okay and this is a very important thing that I think a lot of people just doesn't know and I think this is time also to show you that it doesn't matter if this has to do about PlayStation 3 or, or PlayStation 4 or whatever um, because uh, it's just time to explain this guys I just want to explain you that because you guys are my subscribers and I just want the best for you guys that you can understand also so that means if you have a CPU on the PlayStation 3 that is always running about 10 or 12 or 15 degrees hotter as the GPU then you can be sure that here the pipelines the heat pipes has just lose the liquid inside okay because the liquid inside uh, it's not holding forever guys <laughs> but I can tell you one thing the liquid here um, lasts longer if it runs cool okay you need to know that because otherwise this is all running here so hot and it's just like cooking you know <laughs> it's just like if you try to cook something <laughs> when it's just uh, when it's cooking too long time it's gonna burn <laughs> it will not taste that good <laughs> okay this is just that you guys can understand that and you can see on the RSX side we got here two pipelines but um, the other great thing is also here um, the fan is directly under there so here's all free here's all open the RSX mostly gets really great cooled because you can see all is open here and it has two great pipelines which are of course here soldered yeah they are soldered they are really connected to the heatsink itself okay so here you can see that here okay very important video for you guys okay and here you can see that they are really glued uh, wait here they are here glue it or solder it yeah really fix it hardcore to this part because um, that's how this all is working okay so the heat um, gets transferred through the whole cooler here and the fan will be able of course um, to cool the heat sink on the back and also the heat pipes okay so the, the heat goes to there you need to imagine like that and then the, the cooler is just trying to get back uh, yeah the, 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 the fresh air from the ventilator from the fan and that's why it's also important to do some holes on the case because the PlayStation 3 cooling system is not the best we all know about that okay this is not the best but you can do it better if you know um, uh, why you can or how you can do it better so um, like I told I got here also a case but you guys already know that on my other uh, YouTube channel or on my on my other YouTube videos uh, here just like you can see this is an old case that I got here but really guys this is just that you can see what I mean okay a little bit dusty I just uh, yeah have talked this because I have so many cases here 
and they are just all prepared and this is the best thing that you can do of course okay but if you have still a cpu that is still overheating um then you need to know you cold fix this also if you can get a completely new cooler okay so if you maybe have a playstation at home um, or another one that you can maybe buy on ebay or whatever which was not used that long time um, then you can also fix this problem because the liquidity inside the pipelines maybe are uh, better or the liquid in this pipelines maybe is still there <laughs> because on your playstation um, that is overheating the liquid maybe is just disappear because it was yeah cooking <laughs> too long time <laughs> so guys sorry um, yeah, I think this was all for the video right now because um, for me uh, this was very important to show you this guys, okay, because you need to know that it's not only the problem of the CPU or the heat freezers or the thermal paste because this has nothing to do, uh, to do about the thermal paste. You need to imagine that here the, the heat pipes they are they are the really most important ever, okay, and if the liquid here is just not there anymore then this is just some, I don't know how to explain you. These are not some heat pipes, these are maybe some, <laughs> uh, yeah, how it calls, Cooper sticks or whatever. <laughs> they are not just working like they should work, okay, and that's why it's really important that you guys don't forget about what I'm talk or what I'm uh, telling you, okay. So if you can get a cooler like this, a great one, uh, maybe in good conditions on eBay, you can try that. You can just um, take the heat spills off and get them on the new cooler and if you are a lucky one your heat pipes are still great the liquid is still great and then you're gonna have a better cooling guys i really promise you that okay so yeah this was all now for this video i uh, just wanted to uh, share this with you guys and please do not forget okay and yeah for the people that are new on my channel thumbs up and subscribe if you like and would be yeah really nice of course if you subscribe <laughs> Because, um, yeah, I help you guys too and you should also subscribe to this channel. So it makes more fun for me also to do the videos for you guys. But like I told, this was not only for the PlayStation 3. Um, this is, yeah, on all computers and all the stuff, you know. So the PlayStation 4 uh, has also some heat pipes. And not all uh, uh, the PlayStation 4 professional has, of course, also this uh, heat pipes. Like I told, this is a very important information, guys. Okay, uh, see you soon. Wish you the best and stay tuned on my channel for more, stu for more stuff. And uh, yeah, see you soon, guys, like I told. And I wish you the best. Stay tuned on my channel. Bye bye. NC. In the place to be. NC.